Well, my name is Gary Cullinger, and I'm a PhD physicist, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to convert my micrometers to millimeters. So in the metric system, there are a whole bunch of different prefixes, and one of them is micro, and another is milla. And milla means one thousandth of something, and micro means one millionth of something. So let's see, yeah, lots of zeros there. Okay, so if you want to convert from one to the other, it's really a matter of multiplying or dividing by a thousand. So one good example is, uh, if you take a quarter, for example, a quarter is, you know, you can see how thin that is. It's 1.75 millimeters. Suppose you wanted to know how many micrometers that is. What you do is you just multiply that by 1,000. So it turns out it's 1,750 micrometers. And so it's, it's really just a matter of taking this decimal and moving it three spots. And on the other hand, maybe you want to go the other direction and convert something that's in micrometers to millimeters. So a hair, for example, is about 75 microns. It's really small, or micrometers. Sometimes micrometers are called microns. And if you want to convert that to millimeters, you do the other thing. You divide by 1,000. So you'd, you'd move the decimal place the other direction, and you'd end up with 0 0.075 micrometers. So you can see that you take the decimal and you move it there to there to there. So that's all there is to it, just a matter of moving the decimal place three spots.